and tons of LG damage following up with uh, a rocket to the nuts. But, you know, Chance is showing us that, uh, oh, he's sticking out way too long here. Yeah, he wants to get this shot, but that is why he, I believe that uh, Chance was way too aggressive there. Um, CZM played that thing perfectly, ducked behind the corner, came back, and got the kill just before Mega came up. I mean, just impeccable timing that we're seeing out of CZM right now. And now that CZM is getting into his groove, we're starting to see more of a takeoff here, surprisingly, than we did on Arrowwalk, which is not something I think either of us were expecting. But with half of this thing burned away, we're still looking at CZM with 62% rail, 30% lightning gun, and 24% rocket launcher with a lot of spam. As a, as a hefty dose as well. Here comes Mega. Red's gonna be just a couple seconds behind it. We could see Chance getting a trade off here. No. Oh, yes, he is. He's already up on the platform. And CCM is just gonna be doing a scant amount of damage as Chance gets away with armor. Yeah, and, you know, I have to say, I'm a little bit concerned considering how well Chance is uh, getting that red. Um, it's kind of keeping him in uh, arm's length here of a, a, a potential comeback. Four frags is the deficit he needs to make up. He's back in for that red. This time, though, he's going to eat tons of damage. Needs oh. to hit a perfect rocket. CZM turns and hits a midair as they're both careening in the air and uh, basically slams himself into the floor and uh, craters. So, four to one is the score now. And now, that once a little again. Bit of, uh, I, I just want to just check something technical here. Are you hearing like a little bit of a pop every now and then? Me? Is that Skype? Yeah. No? Okay. I'm cool. Just curious. All right. But uh, four to one, like you mentioned, about four minutes left on the clock, and that last little bit reset CZM's own control for this chance. Nearly takes that rocket, but a beautiful reflexive shot from him is going to be sending CZM back to where he came from, picking up some more health, very low on armor. Mega's going to be up, taken away by chance. Red's going to be up in just a couple seconds, also likely to be taken away by chance at this point. CZM is forced at this point to slow things down. Red is still up, oddly enough, because Chance is trying to muscle back in here and find a way to do some real damage against CZM and get something in for free without worrying too much about the items right now. I mean, the clock is running down for Chance. It's still four to one. Very nice rail from Chance. But can you yeah, well, up and, with anything? And like now is really the, the time to make it happen. Um, you know, we got three minutes left on the clock, three frags as a deficit. So it really is, you know, a, a very, very good time to uh, turn things around. Absolutely, and Chance once again finding his opportunity. I think CZM's uh, biggest problems here have been coming into some situations where he's like, okay, this is going to be an easy ambush for me, but Chance has completely thrown all of those assumptions out of the door and thrown himself back into CZM's face. Here we have it 4-2, to two, and those are the kind of plays that actually I'm kind of surprised to see... Uh, you know, two players under the EG tag kind of having with each other. It, it kind of shows a lack of of, uh, of hey. kind of technical knowledge of one each other uh, one of one other another's play. But it's hard to fist down to one frag. Hmm? I don't think we heard the static until fish sticks joined. So kick oh. him out. Oh, okay, fine. Let him know we're doing it. But we have one <laughs> frag between these guys with just a couple minutes left. This thing is still extremely close. And yeah, a very huge aggressive play. That's the kind of aggressive play I love to see from Chance. That ties the game, folks. And there was two minutes left. And uh, CZM is uh, definitely on the run here. Chance trying to corner him. He has him cornered. The nades, will they save him? Oh, still getting the static. But, uh, yeah, man, just a few seconds left. A minute and a half. CZM, CZM has survived. Only a couple shards of armor here, and he's actually looking a little choked up here as he heads back over to Plasma Yellow. There's the pickup. Very nice initial bounce. That is going to be taking a lot of the bite out of Chance's uh, hope, hoped attack there. But as he comes back into mid, there's going to be a lot of LG still thrown off here. A lot of spam coming from Chances to be dropping down his LG accuracy here. But right now, he just needs to keep the pressure on CZM. And CZM is trying to just go, all right, what are you going to give me? Chances answer, nothing. You're not getting anything out of this. But ducking back over red. the red armor, CZM is able to get away with the steal. Taking a note from Chance, actually, in that case. Still looking mm -hmm. at 4-4. Four to four, Final minute here. CZM with a nice amount of armor is going to be dropping back up to... Uh, 
to rocket launcher. <laughs> Dropping back up. <laughs> yeah, well. Um, yeah, it, with with a tie game here and only 40 seconds left, CZM still not comfortable in order to take a fight with 77 health. Uh, a second red will help him out. He does eat a little bit of lightning gun damage from Chance. And so I'm actually going to hop over to Chance's point of view just momentarily to see how he's doing on stack. Yeah, he's got Mega and 35 health. That's what I wanted to see. So it kind of gives you an idea of, uh, you know, if we do have a fight breaking out in the next 20 seconds, CZM should be in good shape to take it. Um, we see the uh, should be. portal Both yellow taken. The initial damage, and there's the first bit of right here. Ten seconds. CZM's gonna be doing a bit of a pull dance here. It's gonna be both of them. Chance is gonna be doing yeah, that's it. Below. and with five seconds left on the clock, CZM takes the one frag lead, takes the map, and takes a 2-0 victory on top of Chance. Wow, that's fantastic stuff right there, folks. Well, was that some major choke there that we saw uh, when Chance dropped down from the grenade launcher platform? I mean, where do you uh, go from there? Yeah, I mean, well, sort of. I mean, I, I think that Chance also just, I mean, uh, CCM rather saw a perfect opportunity there because oh, yeah. the, the exits from that situation are ones where you're going to take damage. You know, either CCM can sit back and lay down a rail on the uh, teleporter spawn or he's going to line up his LG like he did just pouncing in on Chance. And, you know, two maps up. CZM has to be feeling pretty good, uh, considering, you know, the uh, how things have unfolded today for him. Uh, winning against Destruct, uh, two to one, and uh, now against Chance. So we're gonna move on to um, the next match of the day. is gonna be Destruct versus Vu. And actually, Jahar, can we uh, restart the Skype call? We're just gonna see if we can sort out the static issue right. that we're running into. Sure thing. But we've got Destruct hitting his F3, looking for Vu to do the same here. We are set here on QuakeLive.tv with the IEM ESL Season 5 American Championships. We're still in group stages, but with eight of the, the nation's best players, uh, we are looking at epicness all around here today. So first map is going to be DM13, Lost World. Kind of an interesting choice. No railgun, of course. Just making sure that it... Wasn't anything uh, funky with my system and performance-wise. I seem to be doing okay. So we're gonna go live right now. It's so funky. Yeah, destruct versus Vu. Hopefully the popping will. I don't know really stop. Uh, but we have gone live indeed. So destruct at the start. Red armor, no weapons. Falls back to the shotgun. Vu waiting with a rocket and lands it. Uh, pretty decent one and is up at Mega. Nice rocket jump to uh, make sure that Destruct does not get in on any lightning gun action. Fantastic play by Vu. Um, really sets him up because uh, I mean he can he can press in here uh, right. if he wants to. He's, he actually did not. So he's going to opt for uh, give, giving a red to Destruct. Excuse me and picking up a yellow of his own. So there's only a 50 uh, armor and differential there in that pickup. Destruct now at 160. And armor and falling back to a lightning gun back to the center of the map where you really need to be but that gives up mega health to Vu. And that so was actually the, the really the first time where the stack really went to either player's direction and Vu's could be grabbing that. Oh my god look at all that LG coming out of Destruct here already knocking strong stack Vu down to 67 health Destruct down to 61 and 100 but with the 50 health pickup and a red armor he is back into this. Vu still has to wait about 10 more seconds before Mega health is back up, and depending on the way this fight in mid goes, he might not even be able to afford to show up for it. But it looks like he's going to be able to keep Destruct back on the rear end of the map and make a move in for Mega health. So it's a battle of attrition between these guys right now. It's very touch and go, but Vu is currently in a bit more of a sore position as Destruct waits out the timing for Red Armor, gets the grab. We have a little bit of damage coming to Destruct from Vu on the exit of the teleporter, but other than that, it's still any man's game here for first drag. Very nice anticipatory rocket. Yeah. And guys, we're going to see what we can do about the uh, static over the audio there. It's, it's still coming through. Um, maybe after this we'll do a reboot or something like that. But uh, in the meantime, we do have a beautiful game of Quake Live breaking out Destruct. Trying to defend himself against Vu, who is being extremely aggressive, stuffs him into the corner where, of course, the yellow armor just now spawned, destructs him to go back for it. Uh, Vu enjoying a 120 120 stack and center map. Uh, he's a bit low on lightning gun cells, though, so this is a, 
This is why we're seeing an edge over here. He also does get a nice little hot shot on Destruct, and there is first frag. So, um, yeah, it pays to go get some ammo, apparently. I am one of the guys who would enjoy watching demos all day of nothing else but that one corner on DM13. I mean, it, so much of it comes down to positioning, whether or not you get a rocket pop forcing them against the wall or ceiling. But that corner is, is just one of the most just uh, geometrically interesting areas in any Quake map, Quake live map that is. I would venture to say. I mean, it all comes down to the traps. So very often you have both players kind of creeping around it. But Vu up by two right now. He's waiting out yellow armor, leaving red up potentially coming up in a few more seconds. Mega's going to be just after that. We could see a trade off here. Nice little maneuver go. by Vu, getting the Mega, struck getting away with the red. And uh, he's in pretty good shape here. He's a little bit low on rockets, again, ammo being a concern. Um, this time for Destruct, rather than Vu. And I like this route by Destruct, yeah. Very solid maneuver to get uh, center map and uh, dominant position for this red. Great work there. And, uh, you know, this could be kind of the, uh, the tide turning situation here. If Destruct can do damage against Vu right here, that'll lock him out of Mega. Assuming Destruct doesn't do something silly. There it is. And uh, so yeah, free Mega for Destruct. And now Vu, even though he has the lead, kind of has the upper hill to climb in terms of control of the map. Destruct's going to run uh, Mega to red, but by not delaying that red at all, we're going to see a um, those main items come up at the same time. So potential for a uh, trade on the next spawn. Very nice. Vu, though, still waiting out this corner. This is actually a better position for it. I mean, you have an easier exit if things don't go your way, and you can actually fake them out if they're expecting an ambush at the other corner. D Red Arm is going to be up. Vu's not going to quite be in position for it. Destruct, though, going for damage instead of items. Here comes the LG fight. Vu eating it like a champ. Ah, oh, a lot of damage coming to Vu's way right now, but he's able to get out of there surviving just barely. And he's able to soak back on over to the LG side of the map and get a bit more out of that. But here comes Destruct for part two of the pain. As Vu dives down for Red Armor, that's not going to be there. But during that whole time, I mean, more No, he dives damage. out for an escape. Yeah, well... Um, but but Vu Destruct was actually country. off. He, he, was, uh, he was a bit uh, off on his shot that really should have nailed Vu and given him an opportunity for that first frag. Uh, we just passed the halfway point, and Destruct at this point has been playing chase. I'm going to hop over to Vu's point of view. Who, um, you know, while uh, out of control, is doing a very good job of it. As he is yet to give up a frag. That looks too good. There we go. He backs off as uh, Destruct comes cleaning through. I, I almost feel like Destruct uh, played his hand a little bit too loudly there at that yellow armor that he just picked up. Uh, he he could have anticipated and trapped Vu. I feel. Vu being very, very quiet here, which is maybe a little uncharacteristic, but on DM13, you can't really leave anything up to chance. Yellow Armor's gonna get pushed in there by Destruct. Vu getting a nice amount of damage, though. Currently, we're looking at 100, 100 for Vu, 70 and about 115 for Destruct. So we're almost even here, but Destruct waiting out for Mega there. I mean, it's gonna be very tenuous at best. I mean, Vu, he's still got a good defensive position here. He's not gonna be giving anything up, but for four minutes left and only two frags, he can't hold on to this position forever, and he's not going to be looking to. Yellow Armor grab over at LG. Red Armor is going to be up, but Vu is once again out of position. If Destruct gets too greedy for that angle, he could lose out for Red Armor. There it is, but Vu still takes a couple rockets up to bum. <laughs> Hopefully not something he's going to make into a habit. Uh, he's been playing for a long time now, you know. But there's a Mega Steel by Vu and completely unchallenged by Destruct. Maybe a timing mistake there by Destruct. Either way, it is going to cost him severely as we have the time running down. And if Vu, I mean, if all he does is just keep the stack up for the last couple of minutes, I mean, that's all he's going to need at this point. But knowing Vu, he's probably going to look at his stack and go, all right, time for one more. We still have 10 seconds before yeah. Mega Health. We could be looking let, for let, some let damage here. score here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, um, you know, I mean, Destruct... Opportunity-wise, he really doesn't have... Now, that one rocket might be a bit of one, but there's Mega to replenish. Um, 
No, Vooth has just really been playing this uh, entirely defensively, and I, I think I agree with you that it's a bit surprisingly um, surprising because usually Vu will, at some point, uh, strike. You know, so I, I think he's comfortable with the two-point lead, but I would imagine he would want to uh, increase it 